Do you understand that there's a spiritual battle going on for my soul and for your soul? Whether you're aware of it or not. Whether you say, I never agreed to be any kind of war or battle or not. It doesn't matter whether you agree to it or not. It doesn't matter whether you realize it or not. You are in a war. And if you don't realize it, you need to wake up. If you say, well, you know, I don't want to be in this war. I don't want to partake partake in any kind of war. I didn't ask to be in a war. That's besides the point. You can either be on the right side or the wrong side. You dig? The choice is up to you. But if you choose not to be on no side, you're still on the wrong side. You got to make a choice on whose side you're going to be on because your soul is at stake. You dig? So let me encourage you. Turn to God while there's yet still time for you to turn if you have not already. Okay? What are you waiting on? Really? What are you waiting on in 2024? I mean, what do you have to lose? The very things that you have been trying have not worked. And if they have worked, they have not worked to perfection. They have not been smooth. It's been constant fight after push, after pull, after struggle. God didn't design it that way. He designed for things that are for us to be for us. When those things aren't for us, that's when the struggle becomes hard and taxing. But when things are for us, they become easy and burdensome and light. You dig? And listen, time is coming, y'all. You dig? Time is coming, man, where you're not going to have the opportunity. A lot of people think, oh, I got time. People have been saying that for years. You know, time is running out. Time is winding up. You know, time is coming to an end and it ain't came to an end yet. But you need to look at the writing on the wall because God's word don't lie. So I would be remiss. I would not be sincere in my walk and in my calling if I did not alert you to the fact that time is winding down, right? Just look at the signs, man. Look at the times around us, you dig? If you're not recognizing what's going on around us in the world, in your state, in your community, right? In your own house, then you're not paying attention. And not paying attention will cost you, right? Not paying attention will cost me. If I'm out here and I'm not being aware of my surroundings and, and I'm not being aware of how the Holy Spirit is moving and I'm just doing how I want to do and move how I want to move and I miss out and I don't recognize what's really going on, I have no one to blame but me, right? And so I'm behooving you. I'm admonishing you. I'm sincerely asking you. I'm begging you. Get right with God. Get a relationship with God. Repent of your sin if you have not done so already. You did? Repent of your sin. Ask God to forgive you and clean you up so you can stand righteously before him. Because time is winding up, man, where people are not going to have the opportunity. Things are going to start happening so fast, you're not going to have the opportunity to think about, oh, let me repent and get right with God. Oh, let me ask God for forgiveness while I still got time. No, you ain't going to have no time. When you get sideswiped, or when something happens from behind you, you don't see it coming. Or when you actually see it coming, but you're in such shock and you're frozen, your mind is not going to be thinking about, am I right with God? Have I, have I made sure that, you know, I crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's? Did I make sure that I left my gift at the altar and went and got it right with my brother and sister and asked them for forgiveness or for me to forgive them before I tried to say, okay, God, can you clean me up? Can you save me? You know, I want to be right in your sight. You're not going to have time to be thinking that. You better do it now while you still yet have time. Time is winding up, y'all. For real, for real. So your man, Levon, has told you and has warned you. Get your life right with God. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week, man. Do it right now. Matter of fact, if you really want to repent of your sins and come to God, 
we can do it right now. Bow your heads with me. Father God, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus, asking, Lord God, that you would have your way in our lives right now, God, that you would cleanse us from any and all sin from birth up until now to this very moment, Lord God, any sins of omission, any sins of commission, any sins, Lord God, that we have thought in our minds, even though we have not done. Forgive us for those things, Lord God. Wash us clean of our sin, Lord God. Let us stand before you clean and let us be clean from the inside out, God, because we don't want to continue to do the things that will bring shame unto you and reproach into your church, Lord God. We want to represent you well, so God, clean us up. Let us stand before you holy, righteous, boldly, Lord God, before your throne to obtain mercy. So that way we can give mercy. We can give forgiveness as you have forgiven us. Cleanse us, Lord. Use us to the best of our ability for your glory and for your purposes that you've called us to from the very beginning foundations of the earth. Because we've been predestined. We just don't know it. Take the scales off, Lord God. Let us be able to see in the spirit. Take our ears and let them become non-deaf but hearing to your voice and your voice only God we submit to you we give our lives to you and we welcome you Lord God and ask that you would be our Lord and Savior lead us and guide us into the path that you would have us to go and it's in Christ Jesus name I pray amen if you prayed that prayer welcome to the family you dig if you know someone that needs to hear that prayer send it to them share this with them because someone needs to know, man, it's time out for playing. We don't have time for playing games because time is winding up. 